Hi and welcome back to This Bites For You. The day has finally come that a lot of you have been waiting for. I never thought it would happen, but today, Arctic released an ARGB fan. And in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the Arctic Bionics P120 ARGB bundle. So before I keep talking everything, let's get to the unboxing and I'll talk you through it as I'm going through the unboxing. All right, and here she is again, the Artex Bionics P120 ARGB bundle. Now, I've asked, but I haven't been told yet if they're going to come out with a 140 or anything higher. We'll find out soon enough and I'll list it down in the description below. But this comes with three pressure optimized 120 millimeter fans, fluid dynamic bearings, 48 CFM, 2.1 millimeters of H2O static pressure, perfect for liquid cooling as well. As I mentioned, these are ARGB fans. It comes with a remote controlled hub, which is pretty awesome, a two year warranty, and all for about 60 bucks. So along the front here, we can actually see the remote, two year warranty, then their QR code, and we can see a bunch of the features and specifications here. By the way, this is also compatible with Asus AuroSync, Gigabyte RGB Fusion, MSI Mystic Light Sync, and ASRock Polychrome Sync. So pretty awesome. You don't need to use a remote if you don't need to, if you don't want to, sorry. Okay, we can see the fans here. Simple connection, optimized for static pressure, and fluid dynamic bearings. So let's go ahead, open it up. All right, we'll start off with the, thank you for choosing Arctic, the cooler way. That's true. <laughs> All right, and then not 100% happy, Arctic support, all that good stuff, just in case something's wrong with your order. Then the way that now they use their instructions all on a QR code, pretty handy because most of the time you don't have a computer, use your phone to get those instructions. Pretty excited to get in here. All right, I will start off by saying these are thick fans. So, and I'm a little bit shocked at first because there are no cables. And make sure to take, peel these off. That's actually pretty nice. All right, so then they have their Arctic logo out in the front. And it looks like this is the part that's going to be RGB. Beautiful. And this will be the connection because like Arctic does, you'll be able to connect a fan to a fan to another fan to a header. Or in this case, to a controller, which is pretty awesome. Along the back, we can see this over here, P120 ARGB. All right, so there's going to be three of those and I'll save you that for a little bit later on. All right, this is going to be part of a bigger build that hopefully I'll be doing this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Okay, and in here, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, so I'll start off with the SSD. Yes, they include an SSD. No, I'm just kidding. This is the controller hub. So it looks like you'll connect the fan here, here, and here, a SATA power connection right over here. And just peel this off. I'll do it next to the microphone. Kind of short-lived, but anyway, nice finish there, Arctic. And then you can see my camera. <laughs> All right, and then on the back, ARGB controller. Then a handy dandy little remote in case you don't have an ARGB header on your board. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You can change the lights and everything right from here as well. This is pretty awesome. Okay, and I'll show you how to use all this a little bit later on. 
Okay, and then comes with four, and let me open this up for you guys. All right, and it's actually stuck to the 3M adhesive, but four screws, and then these rubber sticky pads to stick onto the back of your case or wherever you're going to put that controller hub. Then these are the cables that are going to tie into each other from one fan to another fan. And they are about, looks to be about six inches long. Let me make sure. Oh, they're actually nine and a half inches long. Okay, cool. All right, and then they bring two, three, four, five of those. And then this one with a header that goes into a four pin header onto your motherboard. And then this is the one that's going to be going, looks like from the, from the hub to a fan header as well and then to the ARGB strip. So that's pretty nice. Then they include these fan screws for, looks like they might be missing one, unless I'm counting wrong. Nope, 12 fans or 12 screws for your fans. And then these little guys to go in between the fan pins or the fan holes and the cable so two of those all right and while i don't have a build showing you guys how to do that just yet i'm going to go ahead and connect it to my machine real quick so give me one sec and i'll show you how to do that all right so i apologize about the tight space i got these fans last minute but i wanted to show you how to connect them real quick so First off, we're going to go ahead and connect this cable. Notice there is a missing pin right over here, and this side says connect. So that means it's not this side, it's white, and it says power in. On this side, it says black. I'm sorry, it says connect, and this side is black too. So what we'll do, you notice that missing pin right here. It's going to align with that missing pin right there. Kind of just drop it into place it connects really easy okay so now what we're going to do is connect that connect this side to this side this says power and power and just match up that missing pin to that missing pin plugs up really easy So now we'll go ahead and grab another one of those cables. Now the other cable is going to have this side. This is going to be the piece that connects to the hub. So you just want to make sure that everything is in line. You'll be able to play with it a little bit, but on this side, you'll notice it says power in. So it won't go here. It'll go right in here to power in. And then we'll just go ahead and connect that right there. Very simple, connects easily. Okay, now I'm going to move these fans just for one second. Okay, so you'll notice through one of these grommet holes in the dynamic, I have a SATA power cable. So I just want you to see where I'm connecting this to. So I'm just going to bring these fans back over. Then I'm going to connect one of those right into here. And you'll notice they have a little piece right over here that's going to line up with this hole over here. So you don't mix up which way you're going to connect it. They try to make it as easy as possible so that even I can't mess up. Okay, and then we'll grab another one of these cables, the power in that goes to the fans or to the controller. So power in right over here. 
and just match them up. Again, if they're good, they'll connect really easily. Okay, so now we have two fans into one cable and that other fan just directly into here. And actually what I'll do is just to make it more uniform, I'll just put them both right over here. Okay, both connected here. So now if your motherboard supports ARGB, you'll connect this ARGB connector and then also this fan header, four pin fan header. And then we'll connect this right into here. Okay, so now going to connect these cables into the fan header and the ARGB header. Okay, so now we'll connect the four pin fan header right over here to the ARGB. Just make sure that little arrow right over here is facing correct into the marking on the board. Okay, and now we'll connect the fan header into this fan header right over here. All right, connects easily. And now we'll connect the SATA cable, the SATA power cable. Right into here. All right, so if you want to use the remote, just make sure to pull this guy out. I'm just gonna put that down for right now. I'm going to power on the system, but I'm going to hold on to the fans just in case. Okay, so they're, they're good for now. You may not be able to tell, they're flashing kind of green right now, really light green. Look at that, super bright. Okay, so right now they're going along with Aura Sync. Let me turn off the lights real quick. All right, so now with the system on and within Windows, we can open up the Armory Crate. All right, and go over to Aura Effect and let's do Rainbow. Or we can do strobing. So you see, you can have them match. It's pretty awesome. All right, so one of my favorites, coming over to YouTube real quick. In YouTube's audio library, for example, I don't know what this is. Oh, I forgot to switch over. One of my favorites, music. All right, sorry about that, guys. So we'll do, let's see if we can find, well, whichever is good enough. We'll try Awful. So sorry for the quick and dirty guys. I literally just got them in today, so I didn't have any time to prepare for you. I will be building up into the Montex Sky One case this weekend, hopefully to have that video out to you by Monday. I will be utilizing these fans as well. I'll not only show you the RGB aspect connected to the motherboard, but also the remote control aspect as well. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these fans. And well, the Sky One as well. Looks like a beautiful case to match with these beautiful fans. 
The ARGB lighting is going to be amazing inside of this white case reflecting off through the glass as well. So it'll be beautiful. And if you don't like it, you could just turn it off as well. I'm also going to be introducing something else new to this. So make sure to watch that video. But again, let me know what you guys think down below, especially for the down and dirty video. I try to make it as good as possible for you guys. I need to get up bright and early tomorrow morning for my day job. But anyway, please do click like and subscribe if you like the video, of course. All your likes, all your subscribes definitely help me grow, help this channel grow to bring you bigger, better, and more. And if you felt like this video helped you out, if you want to go ahead, buy me a cup of coffee as well. Much appreciated. All right, guys, Iggy out. See you guys.